Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning in to our September issue of Inside Darley. This issue is devoted entirely to sales. Now, that's not Darley trying to sell you anything. Instead, it's us really just trying to share some tools to help you be a better salesperson or a better leader or a better manager. The first article that we've attached for you is from the Harvard Business Review blog. It's on elevator pitches, and that term elevator pitch came from the average uh, elevator ride in New York City used to be 118 seconds. So they said, look, you got less than two minutes to really give your pitch, and it talks about about in, during that pitch, you number one, have to grab the attention of your prospect. You have to convey who you are. You have to describe what your business offers. And lastly, you need to explain the promises that you'll deliver. So if you don't have your value proposition down, you can. Uh, I would encourage you to look at this elevator pitch and make sure that you've got one down. The second article that we have attached for you here is also from Harvard Business Review. It's actually an article that was written almost 20 years ago, back in 1994, and it's entitled, Spend a Day in the Life of Your Customers. And this article is just phenomenal. In fact, it's an article that we've really lived by over the last 20 years, and it talks to a number of important points. But the four I want to talk, uh, point out are, number one, look, your customer isn't necessarily just the first line of, uh, uh, of the person who buys your product. So example, in our case, we're manufacturing a pump that we sell to an OEM, but our customers are also the dealers who are selling those pumps or the fire departments who are buying those trucks and putting them uh, on their tr vehicles. And so you really have to make sure that you're in tune with all of everybody throughout that chain. Number two, you have to count on your customers for information, particularly those frontline customers who are in the trenches, whether it's the fire departments or the sales people from those organ dealerships and organizations, and really find out what it is that's important to them and be honed into their specific needs. Number three, it says, look, don't expect major insights in every one of these encounters, but over time, the more that you go out and you visit with your customers and different customer bases, the more trends you'll see that deliver, and it really gives you a perspective to where you can put all that together and come up with solutions solutions that really address their true needs. And lastly, the article talks about, look, this isn't just the job for the salespeople. It's a job for everybody in your organization, whether it's your managers, your production people, your marketing people. Everybody should really get out and try to spend a day in the life of their customer in order to improve their, the overall organization. As you do that too, one of the things that we always encourage our, our management and our sales team to do is really ask the tough questions. And in the July issue of Firehouse Magazine, they had a special feature and it was question number 16 on a series of 20 questions that were entitled 20, tw 20 Tough Questions for, uh, for the Fire Chief. And these are articles or questions that are, sit in, that are sent in by different readers. And the, uh, the question number 16 in July said, look, besides privatization, what strategies could be used to improve the efficiencies of the fire service and I thought it was a very profound question for two reasons number one it talks about privatization as being a real solution for the fire service and that's a very sensitive topic ten years ago and even more sensitive than it is right now and in fact rural metro who's been the largest privatization uh, fire department and ambulance service uh, for the last in, in a, the United States for probably the last forty years they were started back in the early sixties actually filed bankruptcy in, on August fifth two thousand thirteen so they don't necessarily have everything figured out but number two what I really like about this article is that it talks about changes that fire chiefs can make doing more with less which is clearly the number one issue that we hear from fire chiefs, certainly career fire chiefs, uh, who are out there, uh, when we're out there talking to them, budget constraints, doing more with less, uh, both personnel and, and uh, dollars, is really their number one issue. And this article has some great tips. Do, uh, we would also encourage you to, we have two pump schools each year. They're held the first full week of May and the first full week of October. They're held at our plant in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. We actually have room in our class, our next class, October 7th through the 9th at Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. We'd encourage you to send somebody up there. There'll also be a poly-built uh, school that's available. You can go right up here to the pump section of our website, go down to our pump schools and download that application and information if you're interested. We'd encourage you to get an application into Alicia Schimmel at Darley.com. She can and also send you an application. Uh, get that in by September 15th so that we can accommodate you as those classes always fill up. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to support you, we hope you'll reach out.